Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. I'm so glad you're here. Let's go ahead and ram into today's video. Um, yeah. Rumor has it, rumor has it that Beyonce is pregnant, okay? We're on the street, on social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. Everybody's talking about the fact that Beyonce could potentially be pregnant. Now, at her most recent date, okay, her stomach looked a bit, you know, bloated, should I say. Or, you know, a little bit, you know, pregnant, allegedly, okay? I don't like to, like I always say, I do not like to claim people are pregnant because, you know, sometimes they just be, they had too much pizza, they had too much chicken, they had too much rice and fish, you know, sometimes they just had a little too much to eat. Um, you know, you, you I'm sure you know if you're listening to this video, because, you know, you eat a lot, you eat a lot of shit. So, I'm sure you know. <laughs> um, now, in my opinion, okay... I honestly feel like she, I mean, she could be pregnant, okay? Because she was pregnant towards the end of the Formation Tour, all right, back in 2016. Um, towards the end of the Formation Tour in October, the last few months, she was pregnant with the twins. And then she gave birth the next year in 2017. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I wouldn't put it past her if she was, because, you know, she, she she is able to perform, be pregnant, da, 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 and do all this crazy shit. I don't know how the hell she does it, but she's able to do that. But honestly, though, she could potentially just be bloated. She could potentially just be bloated and just have some, you know, maybe she had a soda pop or two before she got on stage. You know, maybe she had a chicken sandwich from Popeye's um, and a side of fries, okay, with the, a little uh, pie they be having. Maybe she wanted that. I don't know, okay? What is your opinion down below? Do you think that Jay-Z put a baby in her again? All right, let's move on to this next topic. Well, well, well. Um, word on the street, Doja Cat is copying Nicki Minaj. Word on the street, she's copying her concept, okay? Let's scroll back, okay? Now, today we got the word that Doja Cat is releasing her album. September 22nd, and she posted the... Um, cover art for the album and people were like okay this is definitely you know interesting okay but they couldn't help but notice how the spider on the album cover looks almost like the same like color scheme and layout as the pink prince cover all right and they're saying that doja cat is trolling Nicki minaj her face and copying every aspect of her artistry okay now in my opinion i would i mean is she inspired by nikki all the time yes but i don't think that she's copying nikki's artistry nikki never hopped her ass online and put on devil horns and called herself a fucking demon so i don't even want to hear that shit all right i don't want to hear that um nikki never hopped online and, and and said that she's painting the town red with blood she never did that nikki never woke up and put herself and drenched herself in blood and went on the music video and filmed it no all right so in terms of the aspect of the you know artistic creation direction no but i could see how the aesthetics like the album cover yeah i can see that i can see that but i don't know i do think she's just genuinely inspired by nikki okay she said it many times that she wants to be her i mean i'm sorry not be her but she's you know she she, she like her she like her um but some people just do not like this they feel like she should have out of all the designs and all the creations she has the ability to do why would you copy an iconic rap album that's already been done why would you copy the design the layout you could have done something you could have done you could have done something very different and unique all right that's the word on the street okay but what do you think all right i'm gonna leave this conversation open to the audience okay let me give you the mic for a second i'm gonna give you the mic do you think that doja cat wants to be nikki and do you think that she is copying the pink print aesthetic? All right. I mean, like I said just now, I disagree. But y'all in the comment section, y'all may have a different point of view that I may be able to listen to and be like, oh, wait, okay, so I can see that. I can see that. I mean, but honestly, it's just a spider on a white background. Anything could be put in a white background, for real. Moving on, what's going on in Hollywood? Like, I really, I mean, okay, I know the Illuminati, I know the demons, the Satan, oh, no, 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 scary Illuminati. I know about that. Okay, cool. But it just seems like some more creep-ish just keeps on coming out out of Hollywood. So, as of recently, Miguel, you know, the man who made this song, Sure Thing, um, how many drinks? Yeah, that nigga. Um, he's up here floating in air, okay, with piercings in his back, all right, and he's, levitating off the ground performing all right at his most recent performances this has everybody creeped out i mean scared i mean goosebumps i mean i got goosebumps watching that video goosebumps like for real and i mean 
I wouldn't even really say like, okay, Miguel, what are you doing? I'm more so trying to say, Miguel, what fucking song do you have that you need to be levitating off the air with piercing in your back for? Like, what song do you have? Not a, not not one song. Um, but I do think this could be some type of humiliation ritual. Okay, if you don't know what a humi- humiliation ritual is, go on Google. All right, look it up for me, and it would and it, it's going to explain a lot of things that go on in this industry allegedly. Right on the street, it's a ritual. All right, but hey, I don't know what y'all think about that. Did that creep you out too? Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on, y'all. Seems like there was a file for motion for bail for Tory Lanez recently. Okay, and you know, filing for bail means you you know you have a hearing, and they listen to you and all that rah rah, and they you know decide whether or not they're going to they're give you bail. Okay. And um, this has recently been announced, okay? So there may be a chance for Tor Lanes to get out of that jail cell if, you know, he pays the right price, allegedly, and they put that coin up, okay? That's what's going on right now, and that is the word on the street, okay? But I'm trying to think, um, how much would they have put him on bail for? If they do approve bail, I'm thinking it may be like three or four million dollars. You know, they're going to get as much as they can out of this man, all right? They're going to get as much as they can. Um, but at the same time, it's literally the same judge, so... You know the judge may stand on their word and i don't know if the judge is gonna like you know change their mind you know we're gonna have to see about that we're gonna see about that but i definitely do think that um you know hey let him have a hearing for bail what's wrong with that let him let him have a chance to you know say we gotta say let the team say they gotta say okay um what is your opinion on this okay do you think that he's gonna get out potentially do you think that the hearing is gonna go well let me know your opinion down below let's move on Moving on, moving on. Jay-Z has seemingly joined Instagram, all right? Um, I'm trying to figure out why is he on Instagram? What, he, what, what is he going to post, all right? Um, I don't know if he needs to be on the platform, so I don't uh, Take him off the platform. Why are you on here, okay? But, you know, you know if jay Z's doing something, it's probably just for some coins or some money, whatever. Um, you know how that be. You know how that be. But he barely got any followers. I'm like, hold on. What's going on? Y'all don't care about Jay-Z no more? Damn, okay. He got he like he barely got 100k followers. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying followers are important, but you know, you know, you would typically think somebody with that influence would have at least a million by now. At least a million, okay? Especially Beyonce's wife. I mean, I'm sorry, Beyonce's husband. Oh wow. It seems like Cardi B was recently seen stalking barbs, okay? She was out here following barb accounts, all right, allegedly following the accounts. Um, now I don't know why she's on barb accounts. What are you stalking barbs for? Um, maybe she accidentally clicked the follow button. Maybe she was on the pages and she got so carried away that she didn't realize she clicked the follow button. Um, but I don't know. I just think that, you know, when you hit follow, right, you will see that the, the profile picture is Nikki Page and, you know, the header is a Nikki Page. So you wouldn't go follow it. But I don't know. Maybe she hacked or something. I don't know. But I think that all of this is just a part of her marketing plan. A part all of this following barbs and, 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 and throwing microphones and, and acting like some, you know, low bottom of the barrel woman. That's her marketing plan. The label's gonna use that press and use that, you know, all that stuff going on and try to sell it. All right. Nowadays, to make music and be in the music industry, you don't need talent. You need gimmicks and news headlines. Those two things will get you so far because you know, music can get yeah, can take you far, but if you have a great story and good drama around your name and good and good press and everything, you won't be here for a while. Okay? Yeah, she's here right now for a while, but for all the wrong reasons. Okay? It's not because of the music, it's because of all this drama and and controversy. That's that keeps her name alive right now. I, you know, none of her music within the past five years has you turning heads. And she has to rely on gimmicks. The gimmicks and gimmicks and gimmicks. But hey, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm reaching. Maybe I'm trolling. Maybe I'm being Delulu. Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. And I would love to hear what you got to say. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you made it this far in the video, and this is not your first time watching any videos, okay? Go ahead and subscribe. Like, you just... not you, You're playing yourself. You're playing yourself. Subscribe. You know, you, you're not going... All right, I'll see y'all next one. Be safe.